Oh, it's the guy from Disturbed. Oh, man, you are cool, dude. Yeah, look at him. Oh, man, you are awesome, man. Oh, that's really cool. You're sticking up for uh, that one girl. That's nice. I was going to call him Kingpin. Yeah. But that's a marvel. We might get copyright violation on that one. Mr. Freeze. No, he doesn't look like Mr. Freeze. Come on. Ajax, you got yeah, yeah. No. Let me let me say something, Miles. Hey, everybody, welcome to Static Show. This is Bob. Hey, everyone, this is Miles Tuttle with Static Radio. How's everybody doing tonight? I see uh, we've I'm got so, Leanne, so. we got Brian, we got uh, Siraj, Siraj, Siracha, Siraj, Siraj. Oh, Siraj. long A. Siraj. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> You may, to, you, you may want to stick a bar on top of that A so people can figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for being here. And, uh, you know, oh. I had a, a weird uh, a weird experience this week. So I love, I don't know about the rest of you, but I love to go pick up groceries. I don't want to go in the gro- I haven't been in a grocery store for a long time. Because they let you right. pick it up, right? Because of COVID, they started like bringing it out to your car. And, and you so, hate people. And I, yeah, I do. I cannot stand people. Apparently, I used to go grocery shopping really early in the morning, and then it was just all these old people walking, and they weren't buying anything, and they were always in the way. And now I like to go. I drive. I pull up, and and then somebody brings stuff to my car. And uh, so the other day, my wife's like, "We got to go get." groceries and i'm like oh we're gonna pick up she's like yeah so i was excited and so we get there and she's got uh the good car and so she just hits a button and the back of the car opens up and Mm. so she's got the back of the car open and then this this really tiny lady comes out i mean this lady you know (laughs) was like she made the oompa loompa look like a giant and she was tugging, she was tugging, I'm like, do we buy that many groceries? And then I'm like, well, maybe it's just, you know, the size differential between this tiny, tiny lady and all these stacked up groceries that they had on the cart for her. And I'm like watching and I'm like, is she coming to us? And I couldn't believe it. So she comes to us and my yes. wife and I just said, thank you. You know, you yell at the back, thank you for mm-hmm. my groceries. Sure. And sure. so she's. <laughs> sloughing it seems like forever all these groceries into the back of the car and we're just sitting there and mm-hmm. so then we uh you know thank and then she knows how to hit the button which always freaks me out when somebody knows how to close the back of your car because normally they just oh. stand there they go you want me to do something and you're like no no and uh she hits the button and so the back starts closing we weren't ready for it and uh and then we uh we start driving home, and literally all of our groceries were flying all over the back of the car. <laughs> and I was telling my wife, I was yelling at my, I was like, "You're driving like a maniac! You're driving!" And then like like cans of soup were rolling up to the front of the van, and and like the, I look back, and there's like a twelve pack of soda like all the way up between us. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? She's like, no, it was that tiny lady. She just threw all her groceries in the back of the car, and so we're fighting all the way home about uh, about these groceries and how haphazardly this woman packed our car. Normally, they don't do this, and when we right. get home, it looks like they basically just threw them in. <laughs> the whole back of the van was just covered in groceries, <laughs> and I'm like. I go, this is bad news because, you know, I got I got bad knees. I can't be crawling in the back of the van to get all these groceries. I need my big K Cola. That's right. I gotta get my my Shasta, my diet Shasta. He's all the way up you, here by the front seat. Remember when you were poor you drank something? What was it? When yeah, you it was called poor, Big man? K. It was called Big, big K. K. Yeah. yeah. I miss those days. I poor. used to like to think that it was ketamine. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It was just a Kroger yeah. off-brand. Yeah, but I couldn't believe it. it. Looked like a disaster area. All these groceries everywhere. I was just flabbergasted. I'm like, God, the Oompa Loompa just chucked our groceries in the back of the thing. We didn't pay attention. 
And so when we get back, I, I'm, I'm using like a rake to get everything out of the back because I can't climb up in there. Because I'll break a, a – my patella will come dislocated and uh, I won't be able to walk for a week. So I'm like raking out the groceries and uh, – and then my wife's like, look under the back seat. And then there's my frozen pizza, like all the way underneath there, jammed into the back seat. There's my like, tombstone, honey. I'm like, she seems so nice, but she was so angry loading these groceries. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what to do with it. So we get home or we get home and my wife's talking to her mother. And we're like, yeah, we got the groceries there all over the place. And then she's like, well, who was your person oh this little tiny lady she's like oh i always go help her (laughs) (laughs) so i felt like a total asshole Uh, like i didn't get out and help her i just let her throw no wonder we our groceries were everywhere she's normally everybody gets out to help her i guess so she was (laughs) barely quite angry that we weren't part of the helping crew that normally does her job for her and so uh she just chucked our groceries in there. Carol Ann, stay out of the That's light, right, Carol Ann. Exactly. That's, she, That's she was right. actually even smaller than that lady. Can you believe it? Oh, my God. Yeah. Was, I mean, it was, I'm like, life? I don't know. I, I used to work at UPS a long time ago, and you had to be able to lift 70 pounds. That was the deal, mm-hmm. right? And, you, and, mm-hmm. and then they would say, oh, you got to lift 70 pounds. And literally, they would back a trailer in, and there would be a transmission in the truck that you'd have to take out before you could put the packages in a literal what? truck transmission that weighed probably <laughs> 175 pounds. I'm like, Bob, can you get that transmission out of the truck for me? I'm like, Holy shit. I did it, but yeah, that was when I was young and, and had good knees. I didn't use a rake on that one. <laughs> What's going on with you, Miles? So I was raking my car. And yeah. You ever have those rakes in the 70s with a shag carpet? Your mom would give you the rake and have you go. I have one of those. Yeah. My so, wife says yes. So Ray yeah. said no. He didn't know that one. He's too young. Oh, my gosh. You got somebody with a hat walking through the mall? What is that? Are you getting a barbecue <laughs> joint, sir? Joshua, are you getting some good barbecue tonight? Because that's what looks like you're in a barbecue place. You always can no, tell no. a barbecue place because they got 10 everywhere. It's a bunch of 10. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Joshua. I cut you off. What would you say? Dollar wings, no barbecue. What was the, What did you say? You're at the Dollar General? <laughs> Is that part of that? <laughs> no? Okay. What? It looks like you. I swear to God, that's a barbecue place because there's a like a wooden fence and a bunch of tin. Looks like you're in a pole I'm barn. South Carolina looks like a barbecue place. Oh, everybody's in South Carolina. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. This is uh, my a barbecue place. In my house. So what, uh, what's going on, Miles? So uh, I. My wife, uh, well, uh, 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 I gotta reset, man. Get your, yeah. finger, get your finger out of your butt and let's go. Stroking out. I can't do it. Um, all right. So, my son, uh, and my dog and myself went on this, uh, strategic, uh, walk, uh, on Sunday. And, uh, it is a trail that is not used by many. I suppose. Okay. And uh, it is very It's called wool. the Peeping Tom Trail. <laughs> the pe- yes. It, I mean, it's got serial killer written all over it. Like, when you walk along it, you're just, you know, if you saw a body, you wouldn't be completely surprised because it's just out in the middle of nowhere. You know? That's like, right. Okay. okay. I'm like, hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, my dog, you know, gets very excited when he sees other dogs. And uh, we uh, had turned and we were coming back to the car. And uh, we had about another quarter mile to go, and I saw some, like, looked like someone on a bike with a dog on a leash, right? I'm like, "Uh uh-oh, like, there's, like, a dog going to be up here Uh somewhere. Two dogs, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a dog's cool, but, you know, he gets a little excited, you know, okay. Look at at uh, his owner, for Christ's sake. Jeez Louise. Right? Yeah, I know. Like, I'm just kind of, you know, limping along. 
And uh, so we we get up there by the cars, and there's like two women, right? You said that, you like, said that with disdain. <laughs> there's these two women on the serial killer parkway. And I thought, well, since we're here, I mean, really, uh, no, no, I did not kill the women. No, I did not kill. But uh, so, like one, like one lady is like just dressed in plain clothes and the other lady's almost like a dominatrix or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's, she's like dressed in black or something like, I don't want to say spandex, but it was just like an all black outfit, I guess. Like her hair was really black and it was like up like very tight, like a tight bun, mm-hmm. you know? And she was wearing like these dark glasses, you know, like she, like, she was like, she you got a really good look at this. <laughs> Well, no, it was just weird because I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, you know, because we're right by the, like, the outhouse. I thought, well, maybe something weird's going on, you know. And <laughs> okay. uh, So we yeah. we get up there. Yeah. Everyone else is the weird one, not you and your son and your dog walking through a. Oh, well, no, yeah, well, of course not. We're not the weird ones on the serial killer trail. But uh, so uh, she's got like some like, kind of. Like a fat Jeffrey Dahmer doesn't mean anything. I look more like. Uh, <laughs> The stay puffed marshmallow man going for a walk is what I look like. But uh, uh, so I get up there and she's got like some kind of hunting dog, right? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what it was, a little skinny dog. But she's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, sir, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I am training a dog. I have some dogs. And uh, I, are you okay with that? You know, there's like this explanation. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Is this like, Columbo's oh. daughter or something? Ah, excuse me. One moment, I please. I don't know. I'm like, no, we like dogs. Don't worry about it. You know, as we're getting closer, you know, with our what, dogs. What were they training him to do? To hang out with weirdos. I don't know <laughs> what this like, was. Like. This is like a this is a cadaver dog. We're just training them out here on the I don't trail. Know. It was some kind of nice looking hunting dog. I'm sure this dog costs money. I mean, it wasn't like some mutt or something. You know, it was like a, some little skinny. Was it like wearing dog. bracelets like, and things, or why did you think it yeah, cost money? No, the dog was not weird. I mean, but they you know, like say he had a very nice leash and she had a very nice bike and stuff. So I imagine mm-hmm. one of them had shown up like in this Mustang, like this Shelby Mustang. I'm like, what? The oh wow! Hell? Oh, my gosh, what is this? I'm like. Whoa, I mean, this is not my neighborhood. You know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then I could get like the second word as we get closer now. Now, sir, be careful. The dog likes to bark a lot, sir. The dog. I sure bear and she's I No, I don't know. I don't I'm like, okay. She ha I have a whistle with me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm like, okay. Were you looking menacing uh, or something? What is going on here? I didn't even, I did not make contact at this point, eye contact, because I was getting all weirded out. I'm like, okay, let's just keep going. Let's go to our, you know, POS car and let's just leave. (laughs) Dominatrix and her young, you know, ward. Do they have a camera or like, were they using their camera? Were they filming something? Was it like some kind of social media business or anything? Right. Mm. What would they, tra- uh, they they'd have like a like a Kong or they have a piece of rope or something or No. No. <laughs> okay. No. No, it wasn't no it wasn't anything like that. No, no one was being caned or anything. No. <laughs> but she said some I thought she had said dogs in the beginning cuz I didn't see a second dog. I thought well, maybe she imagined a second dog or something like Maybe oh, the okay. plain clothes lady was the other dog. I don't know. I'm not sure how, where it was. Is she going. doing the talking, know. or was the dominatrix doing the talking? I can't. No, I've lost dominatrix. track at this point. The dominatrix. <laughs> no, the, like the plain looking like lady was like just like looking at the ground, like there's no hope for me. <laughs> well, there's no maybe hope she was. Me. Maybe she was another dog. There you go. I'm not gonna make it. I know it. I'm not gonna make it. You, stum- you like, stumbled okay. upon, you know, some kind of weird. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't sure what was going on there, but I thought she had used the plural dogs because I didn't see a second dog. I'm like, oh, that's weird. What's your friend's well, name? Dog. 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 And uh, so, what as do it I, turns what do you out, identify there is. With? I invented a dog. I want to be a dog. 
There is a second dog hidden in like the SUV that was there. Oh, right? there like, was another. T- uh, wow, this is getting to be like uh, a real JFK conspiracy thing going on. I know. I'm like, okay, huh. Lee Harvey dog. Well, yes. <laughs> so anyway, like you know, so all of this, all this warning has been put up. You know, we have a dog. You know, be careful. Uh, you know, he's a little excitable and, uh, you know, they might bark, you know, and this and that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And she's not acknowledging anything I'm saying, you know, it's just like, (laughs) like, okay, that's all right. She's over. She's like, "Mm, that one's too big to carry. We're not going to deal with him. Yeah. She's like, what size are you? A six? Yeah. That's right. I'm like, Buffalo Bill, you know, silence or something. And, uh, so lo and behold, the dog, the hidden dog, like starts, you know, oh. right? Yeah. I, and I, so I got it. At this point, the whistle comes out and the yelling starts. Is that part of the training? <laughs> I don't, yeah, it was part of the training. I thought, this is so weird. Like, why would the dog even stop barking with this nut, this <laughs> mental patient yelling like this? And blowing a whistle as well, apparently. And blowing a whistle. I go, man, this lady might be dynamite in another scene, maybe. But, man, here, it was like, <laughs> wow. It was crazy. So, did both, crazy. were both the dogs barking? Was the plane Just lady good. barking? Was oh, okay. Barking? So the plane lady was just like looking at the ground, like oh, okay. maybe she just had minutes to live. <laughs> the uh, the dog I could see was very subdued. He was just looking at us, but then the the excitable dog was kind of hidden, and that, it was like some I don't know if it was a coon hound or what it was. Oh my gosh! And this lady just freaks out on this dog with the whistling and the yelling, and like this certainly can't be a way to train a dog. There's no way. You know, this how dominatrix. Do you, how do you know? Have you ever trained a dog? Uh, I come from old school, I guess, where you wad up paper and you whack them in the <laughs> oh, head, geez. I guess, stuff like that. But, I mean, that's how we oh handle stuff gosh. in Chicago. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's how I was raised as a kid, too, though. I mean, so I got yeah, you know, whacked Your mother whacked you with a paper, I can tell you right now. Yeah, right? That's You were the wooden that's spoon. Your mom was the wooden spoon mom, I can already tell. From just the but then she, I'm on to get out that damn whistle. <laughs> <laughs> with, oh my god! Was it one of those uh, ones with the fan in it or whatever? It goes <laughs> like that. <laughs> 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 one of those cop cars sounding ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what uh, what kind of scenes you're walking in there. That's bizarre. Is this like a nature trail or is it in the city yeah. or what? Let me digress here. Okay. This is how my mom punished. Okay. Like my brother used to tease me. Like, like you have an older brother. I have an older brother. Yeah. Right? Terrible. And he'd, he'd always like tease me where I'd start crying, believe it or not. I know you can't believe that, but, and my mom's justice was she'd point at both of us. She's like, you're going to get your ass beat for crying. And you're going to get your ass beat for making them cry. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. This isn't right. <laughs> I mean, my mom worked at a psych hospital too, so. Well, she <laughs> she knew what you're, what to expect. She, you know, you think she might have some insight into how to handle children. <laughs> No, everyone gets punished. Everyone. everyone gets punished. Really? So you got you got uh, disciplined for crying after someone punched you or uh, something? It was not physical punishment in my family. It was more like um, psychological. <laughs> well, there, that explains the psych hospital training. Yeah. You know, I think she had just been in the psych hospital like too many times. Like, and then, like, this is way before HIPAA, you know, so my mom's like, okay, don't tell anyone, but there was this lady in there whose <laughs> name kind of rhymes with methyl, and uh, you may not know her from Main Street, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. So, anyway, so uh, we, we beeline to our car, basically, because my son is, like, very shy. He doesn't like, you know, weirdos, and, you know, stuff like that. And 
I mean, he tolerates me. <laughs> he tolerates uh, me. But, I, I was going to say, his, his dad. Uh, I'm like, man, you should have slipped her, your number to her or something. I think like, this cat <laughs> might be all right. I'm like, dang, girl. Put the brakes on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You were always telling me you wanted to meet a woman with the two dogs and another woman. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Seemed to be quiet. I don't know what her deal was. So I don't know. Everybody's okay, going. though? You all made it through? Uh, the, the... We we got home in record time. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, okay. I, like, you didn't stop I off anywhere that... and get jerky or anything? No, we yeah we uh, exceeded the speed limit. I go, we're just going to get out of here as fast as we can. We're going to leave the dominatrix and her weird friend behind, and uh, mm. the dog training can continue, I guess. I so, don't know. Uh, on again for next Sunday? No. That's a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Raj, do, no. You, do you have a story you want to share tonight? A story? I don't have any stories in you, mind. You really nothing happened to you this week that's what interesting happened? or weird? Uh, not nothing in mind at as of you know, you know that hesitation tells me something What's happened your but you're you're not uh, willing to divulge. Was your don't mom know. Like weird or anything or Were you beaten huh? as a child, Siraj? Beaten as a child. I mean, yeah. I have. <laughs> just because, just because I look like I'm South Asian, you think that I'm the kind of kid who'd get beaten? Well, <laughs> we both got we, we both got beaten as children. I was just wondering, you know. Like American kids, no. If you're punished, it's like, don't do that, sweetie. You understand? Don't do that. But then when it comes to Asian kids, it's like whack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's way right. You're right. Or show well, me your hand. Yeah. There oh, you go. Hey, wow. Slapping the hands. <laughs> Holy cow. But you do know that in a lot of schools in India, uh, if the kid misbehaves, uh, sometimes they'll ask the kid to come to the front and the teacher will ask them to stick the hand out and with the ruler, just give oh, a yeah. hit on the hand oh. to discipline them. So. I've never gotten that, of course, but it does happen in a lot of the local schools. Really? Well, yeah. You're bringing this down, Shiraj. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say hey, strange, hey, funny Bob, story. I Bob, didn't want to Bob, hear about Bob, people Bob getting... Lament is mm -hmm. now Bob Lament. For Bob Lamenting Lament. For asking... Yeah, Lament. Yeah. Lamenting for asking me a story. That's right. I'm lamenting well, that question. Well, can I ask you this? Can I ask you a question? My my dad is from Chicago, and he said when he was a little boy in gym class, they had to swim, and they had to swim naked. What's the question in that? <laughs> now, did you did you have to do that like where you're from as well, or was that just a Chicago thing? Like weird. He's like, from you know? Jersey. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, what kind of questions? <laughs> what? What? Wait a minute. I've been sabotaged here. What the hell? I don't know where he's from. I just wanted to say that. Okay, in <laughs> Jersey. Do they get into with some weirdness in Jersey? Uh, did you feel like answering that question, Siraj? You don't have to, but trust me. He's just got, he, he goes and sees Dominatrix on a hiking trail, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I'm into stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, you talked about hiking trails, right? Yeah. So, so I went on, not a hiking trail, I went on a trail in the woods in my neighborhood, like a small woods, and I explored in a, what do you say, in a relatively unpopulated corner, a needle on the floor, a needle on the ground. And I'm like, this, does somebody do illegal stuff there? And I got away from there. I was like, I don't want to be around there. God knows who's <laughs> going to come here. Everybody, come back Wednesday for Siraj's depression comedy here on Plausible. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know your life is so much better. Siraj will set you straight. <laughs> Needle.
You know, you could have took that into the exchange and probably got some uh, uh, methadone or something. Drop it I in. Don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. I'm, you know, some people pick up cans. Could be a hobby. <laughs> you pick up needles and take them down to the needle exchange. Get free needles or methadone. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Siraj, my older brother used to throw a blanket on me and tackle me. Uh huh. That was oh. my daily, that was my weekend. <laughs> oh. He'd go, hey, Bob, I turn around, whoo, here comes a blanket, and then pow. And then he would hold me down until I uh, couldn't breathe. I, yeah, until I put myself, <laughs> no, until I couldn't yeah. breathe. That was, a, that was a fun weekend. Anybody, Leanne, Leanne Brian, I, Brian, do you guys have any weird stories you want to tell? Anybody? I do. Oh, let's hear it. Yeah. Well, uh, so, um, so my my family used to say, stick out your hands, and they'd have the ruler, and I'd stick out my hands, and they'd whack me in the head. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Didn't see yeah. that coming, did you, Leanne? <laughs> no, had my eyes closed. Uh, no, if I talked back to my mom, she she loved me. One time in the Chicago, the main train station, <laughs> I was a teenager and I was lipping off to her. I was being really sassy and she just, her arms swung out and let me have it. <laughs> was, yeah, man. Parents in the 80s didn't mess around. No. Um, right? But yeah. uh, we, we went to a book signing this weekend. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Who, who was, whose book was it? Was it your book or somebody else's book? No, Chris. No, Charlie. Chris. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just love to go down to random book signings and you know. I had, I had free cake. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. When I was in Why Chicago you- in grade school, they made us swim naked, and so now I <laughs> go seek out books yeah. signings. Right. <laughs> Totally not uncommon in Chicago. Yeah, um, yeah. No, we went. It was a photographer who took all of the early photographs of Nirvana. Oh, okay. And so they put together this book of never before seen photographs. And so we thought, oh, it's, you know, like two miles away at this really cool Seattle bookstore. So mm-hmm. we went to check it out. And the whole time we're looking around going, everybody here is so old. (laughs) (laughs) And it's like, because we are. And I'm like, do we look that old? We do. We are. Yeah, we're not cool. (laughs) I I think the baby on the album, you know, Nevermind is 40. So (laughs) just so you know. (laughs) Yep. Yep. I don't know that he's actually. He is in his 30s, though, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Did anything fun? Did you actually get a signed book? We did. Um, but th- yeah, <laughs> Brian, Brian quit like, whispering. They didn't, they didn't, he wants me to tell you they didn't talk about the book. Uh, it was the 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 photographer and his publisher, and they talked how the book was made. They talked about the emails they exchanged, what was in the subject line. I kid you not. Brian's <laughs> like, why is it? Why is nobody talking about like, hey, what was it like when you met Kurt Cobain for the first time? Nobody asked that question. Nobody asked like, what was it like being, you know, with them all of the time? They they were like, yeah, when we were discussing which pictures, we went back and forth with emails. And then the publisher was like, but I'm the one who made all the decisions. And how come this book turned out so great? And we were like, <laughs> uh, it's like but no, no anecdotes sausages. about the band or. Zero. 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 Mm. Mm. Someone someone said, where were you in proximity to the band when you were taking these photos? <laughs> <laughs> I was in front of them, generally. Then sometimes off to the side, and then every once in a while around the back. And then <laughs> someone said, well, did you have any funny stories? And the photographer's like, well, one time when I was taking pictures of the dead Kennedys, <laughs> I <I'm> like... <laughs> There's no pictures of the dead Kennedys in this book. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the first time I met Kurt Cobain, he was on a hiking trail with a needle in his arm. <laughs> oh. Thankfully, Siraj stopped by and picked it up for me. Nice. 
<laughs> Sorry, Siraj. You mentioned it. Come on. I, I thought Siraj was going to say that he found out it, it, it actually belonged to the diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> the diabetic the bandit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's running exactly, low on sugar? That's, that's mild. That place He's doesn't look like a place diabetics would go to. <laughs> well, one walked his dog on the serial killer trail, so I'm sure that he would <laughs> never I know. I don't know where you live, Siraj, but uh, watch out for old men and their sons walking dogs. I'll tell you that right now. Brian, do you have something to share before we wrap it up tonight? You, why don't you just whisper he, it to Leanne? No, no, he is. <laughs> I feel like this is an AA meeting all of a sudden. Brian? She took my story. So oh. <laughs> oh. 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 God, this is just like school. Leanne oh, took my story. We just have to be together. We were going out to get nachos. And the next thing you know, we're going to excited. <coughs> well, <laughs> thanks, Brian. We'll let Siraj close it out tonight. Siraj, any in, in words of enlightenment? Unless you had a story, Brian. I didn't mean to jump off, you know, but you said you got stolen. So, No words. No story. Go for it, Siraj. <laughs> Words of enlightenment. Or whatever. I mean, you know, you're you're known for your depression comedy, so take us out <laughs> on a low point here. <laughs> okay. So I hope that soon enough uh Leanne will, you know, get to write a book. <laughs> write a book of her own. And uh we'll all read it because it'll be titled uh, Hit on the Head by a Ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> now don't now don't say that uh we want to read your book too, Suraj, uh which will be titled Needle on the Ground. Needle Please. Stuck. <laughs> Needle, I'm writing that Needle book. stuck in my shoe. I forgot to look down. Carjackers in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time. Oh my goodness. Live streaming. Live streaming.